Well, um, thank you for keeping her safe. And uh, I look forward to this event tomorrow night. And of course, Jester, it's so good to see you. You too, Mama. All right, well, I should, um, well, at least I want to finish my book, if you don't mind. Of course, we'll go to the bathroom. So oh, together, right. the yes. yeah. yeah. No, right. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> she goes and <laughs> lays back in her bed and pulls open her book. You Maybe guys. we should, uh, like, turn on a fan or something, too. <laughs> this bathroom is enormous. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty wonderful. Should I put this in the tub? Hold on, hold on. Let me, I'm just going to lay um, one of the green cloaks in the tub just to keep the tub from getting stained with the nice. clay. Okay. Mm. You lay the cloak down within the tub, and it's a beautiful tub. It's one of those, you know, classic long, uh, like, claw-footed bathtubs, uh, kind of like a, a silver rim on the edge. You can see this was probably a gift to Marion. Um, it's beautiful. We're about you, to demolish this tub. No, no, no! <laughs> no. You set the cloak within, put the clay in there, kind of situate a small pocket of it where a uh, knock can kind of lay into. Um, and it is, like, it's a very, very kind of tiny element that it's almost like a tub within a tub, and not you. You can get into there fairly easily. Sure, yeah. I'll, I'll uh, break invisibility is, and go in. This is going to take a while, and I pull out a bit of red ribbon and tighten a bow on the knob on the outside of the door and close it. <laughs> Smart. What's that for? They'll know. We need about an hour of privacy. They'll, they won't come in. All right. Not as you settle into the clay, you kind of find this thin pocket. It kind of bends around you because it's, it's not terribly thick, but enough where you can at least feel like you're cradled within. Caleb, what do I do with all this glitter? Oh, hold on a moment, and I hold out my hand to Not. You sure you are ready? No. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> and I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what, what will happen afterwards, but, you know, no matter what, I, you guys will help me get through it. And if for some reason I don't come back or come back different or leave or something, you know, how much you all mean to me, and Jester, I hope we have more adventures together. Me too. I give not a kiss on the nose. Caduceus, thank you for being honest and, and showing us that you can be scared too, and, and that's okay. Yasha, I'm like 60% sure you're not evil now. <laughs> That should be a lower percentage. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a sip of your wine? No thanks. <laughs> Ford, I'm sorry that I always call you weak, but I only do that because I know you're strong enough to take it. Oh. Bo, thank you for taking care of Mr. Caleb and, and Caleb you know I love you and you're the second love of my life thank you for being with me I love you too Veth the Brave. Well, we'll see. All right, glitter me, Chester. Can I, can I, can I? <laughs> glitter bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that was more of an antiquing than I was anticipating, <laughs> but it will do the job. 
All right, everybody have a seat. This is going to take a while. Okay. As you all situate into this now somewhat cramped bathroom, um, you go ahead and begin to set up the necessary ritual components, making the appropriate sigils on the floor, setting up the candles, uh, having Bo aid you in burning the proper incense to uh, begin to get the energy itself centered and focused on this particular tub. Um, as you initiate the first rites of this witch, this ritual, you can see some of these symbols begin to glow that same faint color you saw in Essex Tower. And as they begin to grow brighter and brighter, you can see the clay begin to slowly form on its own around Knot's body. As at that moment, as the clay kind of creates this thin barrier around the entirety of Knot's form, eventually covering the face and the eyes, you, Caleb, can feel yourself connecting on a very, uh, mental, psychic, emotional level as part of this with Nott. And in that connection, you urge Nott to think of her true form, who she always was, and hopefully always will be. As you both sit there and concentrate, pushing into the, uh, the next level of glyphs on the ground, glowing brighter, and brighter, the clay begins to harden and warm up, and you can feel the clay getting hot on your body to a point where it's, it's alarming, but not too much to take. And it's extended for minutes and minutes and minutes. This heat is there, but you, you hold tight to the trust as part of this, and all of you quietly just watch on as Caleb mutters the incantations under his breath, his eyes in a trance. Eventually, the clay begins to go orange hot. It doesn't burn you, but it begins to just Brighten, and brighten, and brighten. The outside light of the small glass windows in the chamber begin to slightly darken. The chamber itself becoming fainter and fainter. As the shadow swells around it, the glowing clay form of Nott's Goblin body begins to emit this bright orange light. You push into the next wave of incantations, getting louder and louder. The windows themselves seem to black out at this point. There is no daylight making its way in. The only light source you see are the glowing glyphs steadily circling the base of this tub and the slightly lifting clay form of knot. As you finish the final rites, you finish the incantation with a shout. The clay shatters across the room. All of you are pushed back from the impact of this arcane shock wave. You feel the wood beneath your feet kind of growl and moan. The bathtub shatters. Oh. Um, <laughs> but that same orange glow is maintained. While the clay is gone, there is still an orange form, healthier and more halfling as the light begins to fade and the body drifts down into the numerous pieces of shattered porcelain. <laughs> there laying before you is Veth Bernardo. Goblin, I first met. <laughs> Did it work? <gasps> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, I had some. There was some clay in my throat there. <laughs> it's dry. I pick up one of the mirrors from Miriam's bathroom, bathroom, <laughs> counter, cabinet. Sure, yeah. Just hold it up. It is good to meet you again. Hi. Hi. 
Hi. Hey. Sup? <laughs> I'll do a little curtsy. Hello. Um, and just sort of twist my hair a bit. <laughs> and um, just sort of... Just hug Caleb. <laughs> 